Okay, so here is a uh, another titration um, calculation, and this is definitely uh, a level standard. Um, so let's have a look at this. Okay, so the following procedure was carried out to determine the percentage purity of a sample of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Okay. Um, Right, sodium hydrogen carbonate, you can see here, reacts with HCl in a one-to-one -one ratio, very similar to the reaction between sodium carbonate. Uh, the difference is, of course, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So let's let's start drawing um, some little pictures um, like we've done in the past, okay? So we're gonna have a volumetric flask Um, 250 centimeters cubed. Um, in there, we are going to have 2.32 grams of impure sodium hydrogen carbonate. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to take out, um, made up to 250, take out 25 of that and put it into a conical flask. Let's take a tenth of it out. Here's a conical flask. Twenty five centimeters cubed. And we are going to titrate this against HCL concentration point one one eight and that's the volume of the HCL. So I'll draw my burette here. Here's the burette. Um, we've got HCL in there. Concentration 0.118 mole per decimeter cubed. And the volume that we're adding to that is 21.9 centimeters cubed. Okay, now the two equations we're gonna use again are concentration is equal to moles over volume in dm cubed. And, um, Moles is equal to mass over MR. Okay, let's just work out the MR of the, well, of the sodium carbonate. This is going to be an MR of 23 plus 1 plus 12 plus 3 times is equal to 84. Okay, so how can we go here? Let's have a little think then. We've got to work out the moles of things, haven't we? Now, a lot of people's immediate instinct is to focus in on this, right? Let's have a look here and think, right, you've got to, we know the mass, we know the MR, we can work out the moles. But unfortunately, we can't do that because this is impure. We don't know how much of that 2.32 grams is actually sodium hydrogen carbonate. So we can't do that. We can't work out the moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. So forget that. Well, what can we do then? Can we work out the moles of HCl? Yes, we can, because we know the concentration and we know the moles. So let's do that. Okay, so HCl, <coughs> moles HCl. We know the volume, we know the conk times volume. That's 0.118 multiplied by, uh, this is equal to 0 0.0219 dm cubed divided by a thousand, yep. Do that on the calculator. Two point five eight times ten to the minus three moles.
Now, if we look at the equation, we have got a one-to-one -one ratio, one mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate to one mole of HCl. So we can say, therefore, we can say the moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate in what, 25 centimeters cubed is the same as that. That's 2.58 times 10 to the minus three. But then we need to go back to this, don't we, to see how much you've got in 250. So that's 10 times that amount. So moles sodium hydrogen carbonate in 250 is equal to 2.58 times 10 to the minus two moles. Right, now we need to work out the percentage purity. So we know the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. We wanna work out what mass is that. And that mass is gonna be somewhat less than this 2.32, because that's impure. So it's got a bit of other stuff in it that's not sodium hydrogen carbonate. So how do we can convert moles into mass? Well, we use this equation, of course, don't we? Yeah. So let's write down mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Moles times MR. 2.58 times 10 to the minus two multiplied by 84, which is the MR of sodium hydrogen carbonate. That's equal to 2.17 grams. Now, the final thing is to work out the percentage purity. So percentage purity is equal to the mass of the sodium hydrogen carbonate divided by the total mass multiplied by 100. So that's going to be equal to 2.17 divided by what's the total mass was this, 2.32 times 100, and that's going to be equal to, if we do it on the calculator, 93.565, okay, we should give it to three significant figures, because all the data is given to three significant figures, so we're going to say 93.6% pure. Okay, that is a very common um, sort of calculation for an A-level titration calculation. So if you can get your head around that at this stage, you're doing pretty well. Anyway, there'll be more of these to follow, and then I will post some um, practice questions.